Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the jay. Jays are arguably our most colourful and exotic looking member of the crow family. They're found across most of the UK except for northern Scotland but also across Europe, northwest Africa and across Central Asia as far east as Japan. There are 33 recognised subspecies each with their slightly different markings, although all of them are orangey brown over most of their bodies and have a striking blue patch on each wing. The variant found in the UK also has a black and white patch at the end of each wing, a black and white tail, a black moustache and beak, a white rump and a lighter, faintly striped crown. They have a wingspan of 52 to 58 centimetres and grow to around 160 grams in weight. That's 21 to 22 inches and five and a half ounces if you prefer. Historically, jays were found in mature deciduous woodlands, but they are gradually becoming more common visitors of parks and gardens. Just like other members of the crow family, jays are opportunistic omnivores, feeding on everything from acorns, seeds, nuts and fruits, to insects, small mammals, eggs, young birds, and they'll even eat hibernating bats. During the autumn, they sometimes cache food for in case supplies get low in the winter. Jays usually start breeding from two years of age when a pair will form in early spring. They then claim and defend the territory where they build a nest, usually three to five metres from the ground in the fork of a tree or sometimes amongst dense ivy. This is a rough platform of twigs topped with thinner sticks and leaves to form a cup shape. Once complete, the female will lay between four and six speckled olive eggs that measure just over three centimetres in length. She'll incubate them alone for 16 to 19 days whilst the male stays nearby defending the territory and his mate. Once they've hatched, both the parents feed the chicks in the nest until they're around three weeks old. At this point, the young look like smaller versions of their parents but with shorter tails and wing feathers and they are ready to fledge. The parents continue to feed them for a further three to five weeks whilst they learn to find food and fend for themselves after which, the young birds move away from their parents' nesting territory. Jays will only nest once per year, and after a pair is formed, they'll often stay together for life. Jays can make a lot of noises, but one of their main calls sounds like this. They are also really good mimics of other birds and man-made noises. I once saw one mimicking a jackhammer whilst trying to intimidate a carrion crow, and it seems they're smart enough to imitate things that represent danger, like this one mimicking a cat. Over most of the UK, they are resident all year round, but some birds in Scotland do move south for the winter, and sometimes migrants from Northern Europe are recorded in England throughout the colder months. Their breeding populations here are fairly stable, at around 130,000 pairs, and they have an average life expectancy of between two and three years. Although one wild bird survived to 16 years, nine months, and 19 years of age. Well, there we go. If you learned something new, check out this British wildlife video, and if you enjoy that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.